Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on the channel and today I'm excited to show you how to export your AutoCAD drawings, your models from AutoCAD into SketchUp and there are many reasons why you may want to do something like this. Uh, it could be that you're already familiar with SketchUp and you, you know, you want to prepare some presentation models for your clients. It could be that you want to do some renders and, you know, SketchUp is supported by a lot of rendering engines or maybe you you have a rendering artist across the seas and they are familiar with sketchup as well so there are many other reasons why you may want to do something like this so that's what i'm going to be showing you in this video today towards the end of this video i have something special for you i'm going to be showing you how to export your drawings from sketchup back into autocad so maybe you want to add a couple of uh, assets you know components in sketchup which is way easier to do you know furniture people cars roads that kind of thing re-import that back into re-import back into autocad and so that your drawings can be enhanced or you know you can have uh, those visual visuals on your sheets and all of that as well so i'm going to be showing you that towards the end of the video so stick around and don't miss a beat with it if you're not subscribed yet, please, I'm asking you, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit that like button. See me I say? All right, so here we are in AutoCAD architecture and this is the model that we'll be working with for today's video. Today's video, I want to show you how to export your model from AutoCAD and import it into SketchUp. Now, the first important thing is to make sure that you're in a 3D view, okay? If you're looking at this drawing from a plan view and you do an export, it's not going to work, okay? So you have to make sure that you're in a 3D view for this to work, all right? So here I am in a 3D view. It doesn't matter what visual styles you're using. So let's go ahead and go to the big A at the top. And we're going to go to export and go up to AutoCAD. So of course we have a bunch of uh, options here, but I always choose the one at the top. Um, if you're using an older version of SketchUp, then you might want to choose the 2013 version. All right, but I'm going to work with 2018 and I'm going to save this on my desktop and I'm going to say save. Do you want to replace it? I do. I have it already, but I'm going to just replace that one and say yes. All right. So now that I have that replaced, I'm going to go ahead and open up SketchUp. Now, one of the things you need to pay attention to when you're doing an export is your units. So what kind of unit were you using in AutoCAD? Um, in this instance, I was using feet and inches, which would be standard. If you're using the metric system, of course, you would need to choose a metric template here but since we're doing feet and inches i'm going to just work with the architectural inches template here all right so click on that and then here is a blank sketchup screen so from here i will go ahead and i'll go to the file and i will say import and from here you want to make sure you go to your desktop which i'm i'm already there and if you're not seeing the file, maybe you have the wrong option selected here. So you would, of course, click on that drop down and you can click on AutoCAD files. It would only show you AutoCAD files. Um, in this case, I have all supported types. So that's the option I have there. And I would click on the file. And before we import, we actually have some options that we can change uh, if we want. So let's see what that looks like. So we have a geometry option here where we can merge faces, we can orient faces, we can import materials. I'm going to just have all of these unchecked. The most important ones here would be these two last ones. Of course, the position. I like to preserve the origin because uh, if, uh, in SketchUp, the origin is right here. And in AutoCAD, the origin would be, let me zoom out. The origin would be right there. All right. And so what we want is when we export this into SketchUp, it's going to preserve 
the origin and it's going to align it exactly in this position and this is important especially if you want to export whatever changes you have made in sketchup back into autocad all right so you want to make sure that you preserve your origin make sure that your scale is looking good hit ok hit import and right there and then that was quick uh, you can see all the stuff that came in and we are going to hit close so there we have it this is the model and it comes in a bunch of colors here <laughs> right away we can see this huge green box um, this box was used in autocad to cut that hole into the roof sketchup on hide it here <laughs> as well as this blue roof that you're looking at so what we're going to do is to go over to our side panel here over here we have tags and this is the same thing as layers in autocad so as you can see here we have our layers being organized for us and so what I need to do is to just turn these off so I can just go to here and I can say turn off mass. I think that's what that is. And I'm going to turn off roof. And so now this looks pretty much closer to what we uh, what we want. And I'm going to also turn off this line right here, which would be this annotation layer. That looks nice. All right. So this is what your, your model would look like. And if you notice, I can navigate around. I can walk inside. I can pretty much move around this building uh, much smoother than if I were in AutoCAD. So from here now, we have all the benefits that SketchUp provides. Um, you know, we can apply material. We can add components. We can add even structural stuff to this drawing if we want um, if, if you care about that kind of stuff at this stage <laughs> but um, yeah let's let's take a try and see what we can do with any of these I think one of the first things I would do here is to click on this if you notice it comes in as a whole block and so what we can do is to just explode this and what it does here is to break it down into into smaller blocks okay so each level comes in its own block that's how it works and that's because in AutoCAD we drew this building using uh, different constructs so you have one here you have one here one there and one there and so what it does here in in SketchUp is to bring it in in a similar fashion all right so what I think I would do here is to is to explode these three bottom ones I'm going to leave the roof as is so I'm going to explode these three here and what I'm going to do is to highlight everything except the roof. So I'm going to hold on shift, click on the roof, and then I'm going to group all of these. So now all of the, the walls and the windows and everything would be in one group while the, uh, the roof is in one by itself. And what that does is so that when I double click inside of this part here, I can pretty much edit these lines and delete like, you know, that line there just to make the wall continuous. Um, I can do the same thing on this side. All right. And I can do a bunch of stuff. For instance, I can uh, draw a box here and I can put a offset, this one here, on this box make it four inches wide and then i can push this out maybe 18 inches just to give it like a you know those modern look i can group this or make a component whichever and i can uh, move or copy rather paste it over here here, if you notice there's a lot of things we can do in SketchUp and uh, just and, and the good thing is we can import these changes back into AutoCAD all right and so I kind of want to show you how to do that as well but before I do that well, how about adding some components in here um, so we can actually go ahead and minimize this and we're going to go to components SketchUp has a massive library of components so you can search uh, the, the web and find a lot of components here but I'm going to just work with these ones in here so for instance this bench I can just add it on my porch here what's this some bike stuff I'm going to just 
probably put that down here. Not too shabby. And, you know, we even have bed, cars, people. I'm going to drop this guy. Probably like right here. And I'll find a lady. Nancy. All right, Nancy. I'm going to place it right here. All right, so that's Nancy. All right, so let's say I've, I've placed a couple of components. All right. And so right here, you can see that, you know, we are pretty much using the full uh, effect of SketchUp. Um, we can add shadows. Let's add some shadow. See where the shadow lands or stuff like that. We can change the time of day or the time of year. Oh no, man, just mess around with this thing. Um, and also we can apply material. So let's say for uh, these glass, I'm gonna apply some material to this glass. So I would click on one of these glass, I would right click and go to select all with the same material. And this would select pretty much all the glass in the building. And I would go to my material here and I would go down to uh, glass and mirror. I would choose the glass that I want. I'm going to choose this guy right here. I'm going to drop this back down so I can see how many faces I've selected. And I can also see that my glass has two faces. So I need to make sure that both faces will get this material on it. So I'm going to apply this material to one face first. And then I'm going to go to my second face and I'm going to choose that material here. Okay. Boom, just like that. We have added material to our glass. And you can do the same thing with all other material throughout this model. Let's apply something to the roof here. So roofing, um, I'm not sure which one would fit best here, but I'm gonna just work with this one. If you notice it comes in unconnected uh, there's an option when you are importing this model that says uh, connected co-planner faces. Uh, that would take care of this issue here. So um, I should have done that. Um, and then we can apply some wood. I don't know which one to choose here, but I'm going to just work with that one. Something like that. All right, guys, so I'm not going to do too much more here in SketchUp because, of course, I know you're going to play around with this and make it your own. So this is where I'm going to stop with that. And of course, if I had a rendering engine, that would be awesome because I would be able to place a lot of other assets like trees and cars and roads and stuff like that. And I would be able to create a nice render um, of this building. But since I don't have that, what I'm going to do now is to show you how to import all of what we have added back into AutoCAD. And so this is what you would do. Um, so what we're going to do is to go to our tags. And uh, we are going to turn off... As a matter of fact, let's create a new tag and we are going to call this SketchUp, all right? And we want to make sure that everything that we have added, like these things here, also these here, and this lady at the top here, we want to make sure that they are on the SketchUp layer. So we need to go to our entity click on this tag button here and add it to our SketchUp layer. And so now I can turn them off and I'm going to delete this, delete, turn this back on. So this is the only thing I want to see when I'm exporting. And then I'm going to go ahead and export 3D model. And we have the option to export it as an AutoCAD file. So you can also check your options, make sure that everything looks good. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. And I'm going to save it as that with an additional. Uh, I'm going to just put SketchUp 
here export whatever minimize that minimize and I'm going to open up that file here continue opening and as you can see now we have it in SketchUp it even comes in with a couple of the, ma the material on there so now I can save this as a new construct so I'm going to go into my constructs here and I'm going to create a brand new construct uh, probably in my architecture folder actually I'm going to use this drawing as a new construct so now that I have it open I'm going to just right click here and I'm going to say save current drawing as a construct it's going to ask you which uh, where do you want to place this construct I am going to place it on the lowest level so I'm going to select that and I'm going to hit OK so now that it is there I can go to my view go over, over to my 3d view here which is what I have open this one here and I'm going to right click go to properties and go down to content and make sure that that is also checked usually it it's not checked but for some reason it is checked here and then i'm going to hit ok all right so as you can see here uh, our sketchup components or assets or whatever you want to call them are now available in autocad architecture and so whenever we create our views with these inside of it we can actually have those things showing up in our section views in our elevation views stuff like that I might just do one to give you an example so I'm going to go to the top view and I'm going to go to 2d wireframe and I am going to go to annotate and let's draw a section and let's cut that section maybe like right here cut it uh, in a straight line using the ortho mode coming in that direction then I'm going to hit enter and draw my window all the way to the back and I'm going to place this in this current drawing I'm going to drop it right here I have a whole video on views so if you want to know how to create views I'm going to link that also in the description check that out how to create your elevations your sections the whole nine yards all right so as you can see here i have that you know chair bench uh, showing up there i also have um, nancy at the top here all right if i were to pull this back some um, and regenerate this view as well um, you would see that it also adds you know my little bicycle there as well as um, Chris I think his name is Chris uh, by the way if we go over here <laughs> and we select these guys we can see the the name of them uh, in over here Chris we have uh, bench we have the bike rack so it comes in as a block and you don't have to worry about um, you know selecting the wrong thing or what whatever whatever group two so these are the same we didn't give them a name so it comes in as that uh, but yeah that's pretty much what it would be if we wanted to re-import our drawings back into AutoCAD all right guys all right so that wraps it up for this video today I do hope that you learned something new and if you did feel free to hit that subscribe button if you haven't as yet or hit the like button you know any anyone why not anyways shout out to the patrons on my patreon page and uh yeah feel free to drop your questions on your comments in the comment section below thank you for watching and see you in the next video